the war commanders, General Marshall and Admiral King, make plans for an armed force of 11 million. They report to Admiral Leahy, the President's Chief of Staff. Officers must be developed to train and command. Some will come from the ranks, others from the nation's famous military academy at West Point. The Naval Academy awards commissions to hundreds of midshipmen. They celebrate in the traditional manner, tossing their caps into the air. For modern warfare, the men must be fit. Famous university athletic coaches volunteer for duty as trainers. The undefeated heavyweight boxing champion, Gene Tunney, is among those engaged in this activity. Thousands of merchant seamen are trained to meet any emergency, including escape from a burning vessel at sea. In field training, every effort is made to simulate actual combat conditions. These men crawl under barbed wire, while live machine gun bullets crack only two feet above their heads. 